The bill lengthens jail time from three up to five years. Ivan Bates came armed with statistics and even a recorded jailhouse phone call, which he didn't play, to make his point that doing so will be a deterrent. I'm listening to a lot of jail calls. A lot of people are saying, Ivan Bates, he's not playing, and we're not playing. Ivan Bates making his closing arguments to a House committee considering legislation to lengthen the jail time of illegally possessing a handgun from three up to five years in jail. 71% of the voters believe what we said. If you have an illegal handgun, you should and will be held accountable. What we're saying now is give us one of those tools to hold people accountable. Illegally possessing a handgun will remain a misdemeanor. Bates believes a longer sentence will be a deterrent. My clients, when I was a criminal defense attorney, they would plead guilty knowing that they're only going to do eight months. But once we got to five years, that's when their thought process changed. Why? Because they knew five years could take them to the Division of Correction. Some committee members remain skeptical and concerned that legal gun owners would get punished. Pro-Second Amendment groups oppose the bill for the same reason. They say some legal gun owners who are not granted a concealed carry permit may accidentally have a handgun on them. This imposes the same penalty, five years, that a disqualified person would have for carrying the same firearm. The committee will vote at a later date whether to advance the bill to the House floor. Meanwhile, Bates is also in Annapolis to support a package of bills. This includes creating a gun violence relocation program and an initiative that would provide doorbell cams to those living in high crime areas. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.